Hi Gemini, welcome to How I Love Tarot. This is your March 2021 money, career and finance reading. I've already begun by pulling your first layer of your tarot, which is right here and in the background right here. And your oracle cards. Uh, I have your oracle cards here because I actually have to do with the first card that came out for you in your tarot. So this card is the Hermit which is your recent past in regards to career, money, and finance. So um, I just want to go through your oracle cards here because it, it was immediately apparent that it had to, that this represented your recent past. So in your recent past, you were very conflicted. We have the number five zero here and, um, and it feels like in whatever career, um, that you're in or job that you're in, uh, you felt a sense of um, endings. So we have time to go and no place like home, but it created a lot of conflict uh, for you. We have the five which represents conflict and not feeling grounded in the situation that you were in and feeling as if, um, uh, like your home life was threatened in some way in regards to money, career and finance. And here we have time to go, the nine. And so nine represents that you have been in your career or industry for, um, or, or business or whatever it is for a very, for a very long time. And, um, it could represent the fact that, um, uh, it got wiped out by the pandemic or it changed because of the pandemic. And uh, for some of you, it even feels like there is, um, you're at the beginning of all of that. And it's the industry that you thought about going into is no longer there or it's no longer a viable industry. Uh, and that's in the recent past. And so we have the Hermit card for you. And in the Hermit card, what it uh, what it shows is that this conflict that you were in kind of wore you out. And so you had to shut down from all of that while you process the next steps of what you were going to do. So this is in the recent past uh, in regards to career, money and finance. And it does feel like a great amount of instability in this situation um, for you. Next, we have uh, in your present energy, we have the three of wands for you. And um, Spirit, can you tell me more about the three of wands and why it's here for Gemini, for career, money and finance, please, in the month of March? Can you tell me more about uh, what will help Gemini understand the three of wands for career, money and finance for March? What do they need to know? What do they need to know in their present energy? So we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse position. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to understand the energy of this card that just came out. Okay. All right, Gemini. So what it looks like is um, basically uh, with the three of uh, wands in the present position, in this particular deck, what this represents and the energy from the other cards represent is that um, you've stopped waiting for your ship to come in or it feels like um, what you were waiting for occurred in the month of March. It feels like um, it, it, you're settled and, um, and you're, you, you have a sense of that you stop looking is what it feels like. So you stop looking and you, um, you kind of go back into um, the space that you were in prior to all the internal conflict uh, to do with money, career and finance. 
And here, you know, the seven of pentacles came out in the reverse position. So where you were, um, again, this sense of um, looking at all that you've worked for. And for those of you that are in the beginning of your career, looking at all the energy that you'd put in so far, um, it feels as if now that it's in the reverse position, that there's a level of acceptance in regards to how things are going to play out. And because you've come into that level of acceptance in the month of March, as you head into March, we have the six of wands in the upright position. And because of that, you feel um, that there is an acknowledgement, I feel either in your workplace or industry or whatever it is that you were trying to counteract, it feels as if you have victory over that situation. Now, the Justice card did come out in the reverse position. And so what this feels like is where you felt that things were unfair in the recent past, it feels like you have a sense of, again, this sense of um, just kind of um, knowing that, that things are going to work out and not feeling like there's an injustice that's being done. Or even if an injustice has been done, you're far away enough from that experience now that it's not bothering you as much as it had been in the recent past. So this is your present energy right now. For money, career and finance. In the outcome, uh, what's the outcome of money, career and finance in the month of March? Um, I want to talk about your um, oracle cards and then I'll go into clarifying the Knight of Wands. Uh, so basically um, what it feels like is that you're quite unguarded um, in regards to how the future is going to play out in money, career and finance. It does feel like you are going to go move forward in the month of March. Um you know, but having said that, on a contradictory note, we have balanced, uh, we have rest and cleansing moon. We have balanced relationships, self-expression, boundaries, and we have 17 in numeral numerology represents eight. Excuse me. Um, it represents the number eight. And eight is connected to your spirit, your higher self. And, and um, calmly moving forward in um, and not going between extremes in your thinking and extremes in your decision, decisions that you're making about your career, money and finance. And so um, because of that, what we have right here, and we have this twice, we have um, in your magic card, we have balance. And in your um, spirit of the wheel deck, we have balance, right? Balance relationships and here balance. So guess what you're doing in the future for the month of March or beyond is balancing. You're going to make choices that um, reflect internally what you want and not just kind of feed into um, the fear of you know christ what do i do about my money what do i do about my home what do i do about my career and you come out of that and you balance it with this kind of um need to move forward and understand that regardless you're going to be okay because uh, there's certain things that you want um which is balance and self-expression and you want boundaries uh within your uh, workplace or your career and it feels like no matter what you're going to move forward doing that and so we have the knight of wands spirit can you tell me more about the knight of wands in the outcome position please can you tell me more about the knight of wands for gemini for money career and finances so we have the We have the Page of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Five of Wands. So this is really interesting because where you were having so much internal conflict um, in your recent past, 
and and it, it just kind of overwhelmed you and it got you to the point of you know you're so fed up that you just kind of like whatever this sucks I can't I can't keep fighting this and so this there's this kind of energy of accepting that you are where you are in whatever you're doing and because of that it creates kind of this inner peace and you let go of the mindset of uh, things are working against you in your near future what we have is because of that change of mindset we have the knight of wands for you you come back into your passionate energy you move forward and it feels like page of wands feels like you must have put out a lot of job applications or this has to do with schooling or something like that but you put out applications and you begin to hear back um from all that work you did in your recent past where you were trying to secure the situation that you're in in regards to money career and finance so where you thought nothing was happening it is happening and it feels like in the month of well i want to say the month of march but spirit is moving me forward as well because they're making me feel like uh, for some of you this is march for some of you it it, it kind of runs into april but basically what we have is the knight of cups so you it feels like for some of you you do get an offer um, that you're not expecting and what I mean by offer is like a job offer or a contract or something and what's so interesting is um, it is uh, because you know your boundaries because you know what you want um, in regards to your money career and finances and I'm specifically talking about career I'm also talking about kind of the amount of money that you want to make because you're able to express yourself from um, a place of empowerment, not fear, it feels like none of this, where you had conflict in the beginning of the reading, uh, there's no conflict here um, in this particular card. So in this deck, when you get the five of wands in this deck, the people are actually working together. So it feels like you will get an offer that you're not expecting. It does have to do with interviews or applications that you've put in. And it does feel like um, there's a part of you that, not a part of you, that there are some actions that are taking and taken by you in the month of March where there must be some follow-up energy that you're follow, you know, because you're not in that place of fear anymore. You're not in the place of the what ifs and this has to happen this way or out or 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 else right you get out of that physical kind of um energy and you move into an energy of everything's going to work out and everything's going to be okay and so you come much more into this empowerment energy and i do feel like here in the knight of wands with some of these applications that you've put in i feel like you're going to follow up so even where people have said you know um thanks for interviewing you know but no thanks. Um, it feels as if where before you would have kind of sent like, a, you know, thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview email. You were so fed up. I feel like you haven't even gotten back to some of these people. And that's the energy of this where you reach back out. And, and because it's, there's some time that's passed between these interviews or these applications, something has happened in the background where... I do feel like for some of you where um, where you thought a situation was dead in the water, um, it hasn't worked out on the prospective employer's end or business contract end. And they turn around and say, uh, hey, uh, this is weird timing. Um, we have another position open that you'd be perfect for. Or they, some, they say, you know, um, you know, you have you know, I just took a look at your resume again and, and or your CV and it feel and it feels as if you're the right person would love to interview you. So something begins to open up in March that was that was seeds that you planted months ago, Gemini. So the outcome is positive. It does feel like you you are made an offer. It does feel like uh, you're not in conflict. It's, it's about working together and uh, it does feel like you have a choice here. It does feel like um, what you're achieving is balance. And I do feel like what is coming towards you in this outcome is the outcome that you want, which is balance. 
and it's reinforced twice in your oracle cards so it does feel like something is coming towards you in regards to balance um in in career which will ultimately lead to balance in your finances gemini i hope that helps and i will see you next month